and being in a junior role at a company myself right now. Mm. So I'm doing marketing, right? Yeah. So again, like a pretty traditional route. Like I wanted to do uni because my golf career kind of failed. We <laughs> We can talk about that. We can talk about that. But yeah, my golf career kind of flopped. My brother's trying to be a professional right now, isn't it? You're living but, through your brother, right now. bro. Living through my brother, man. Um, I need to get a degree. I need to look good in front of aunties and uncles. Yeah. That was an afterthought. I didn't realize that was why I was doing yeah. it. I thought, oh yeah, I have this passion for instilling desire in people, yeah. which is somewhat true. Yeah, somewhat um, true you know, convincing sense. people like I did door to door sales, like it kind of all fits in. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like. When, I, when you're in a junior position, you're not really prompted to go and speak in meetings and all of that mm. shit. And throughout this COVID shit, you see a lot of people in junior positions not willing to speak up. Mm. And now they're just coasting. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? They're not trying to go above and beyond. And it's the people who are already managers. Or they don't know how to. Yeah, exactly. Who had that experience. So they don't, they don't know how to. So I guess just like how some companies bring in massage therapists. Yeah. You could also have a physical therapist. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. And like having like they've, they've got a few things going on. You got like mental health first aiders. And yeah, stuff like that. yeah. But I feel like there still is a lack of emphasis towards yeah. like having someone there to talk through all the shit that's going on. Like, I know growing up at school, like I went to a school down the road here. Um, okay. And then uh, like very multicultural background. And one thing I learned from an early stage was that there were some gifted kids. Who probably just didn't have the right upbringing yeah or were just lost in terms of they just followed what everyone else was doing around them you know i knew people that so i've been told that i've gone down that the path where it's gone down crime and stuff like that and it's not it's not what you want to hear right because they had so much potential but probably didn't have that that outlet to go speak to someone about oh man this is going on at home or i'm what yeah. i've got i've got yeah, or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, like just it was. there's another way to deal with it, and, and they weren't able to see. They that possibly could have had many of opportunities. You know, like yeah. we hear about like scholarships and stuff like that that are available if you're pushed down the right route. And I would love to try and do that, but in the corporate space, it's like well, I'm already there. How can I help? Let's say people who I report to. Mm. How do I make their day even better? Like, fuck it, the work's gonna get done regardless. But if you're stressed right now, let's go sit out for a little bit and talk to someone about it. Like, talk to yeah. me about it. Like, how can I help you on that front? Because yeah. if that takes your mind off it if that puts you in a better mind space like yo, it's a game changer and i've realized mm. that for myself like if i need to take a break i'm walking off getting out my chair you know i'll go for a little walk outside or whatever yeah just to just like compose yourself because you don't need the energy in the office it's not productive yeah what about you what are you, what are you doing Damn! Yeah, who, what the fuck? one word i feel like he's just taking over the whole pod i'm like nah man <laughs> I mean, for right now, I'm an engineer at this studio, um, independent studio. Yeah. I just do that um, on like a part-time basis. But yeah, um, hobby, hobby-wise, and kind of like other income-wise yeah. as well is I do producing. Oh, sick! Yeah, so I like sell beats and that. Yo. Oh, that store. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got like the whole store set up. Yeah, that. yeah. That was a build-up, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, man, man, I'm yeah. just setting that up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That coming yeah, through. Come too, on. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to right now with that store. I'm just trying to work on the marketing side of yeah. it just try and um obviously this guy's helping me as well yeah i've got an email list i've yeah. like built up an email list but i just need to automate emails so i can literally just um you know reach out to them while literally sitting at home so let, let me give you a little bit of coaching right now why not yeah. just give yeah, it yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, exclusive a little, a little, this is a one-to-one -one. A, 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 yeah. a little snippet a little snippet all right so what is it that you want to achieve on this space right now like, where is it that you really want to go in terms of like you're making beats right what's what's the angle yeah make literally a lit be able to make a living from it yeah so, and um what does making a living mean um and, and take your time with it yeah, like it's yeah, calm yeah, it's yeah, calm yeah. it's basically financial freedom isn't it where i don't need to i'm not i'm not talking about like millions oh i want to yeah. make millions from it or, or oh, no, it's all right to want that bro yeah yeah yeah, yeah but i'm literally I'm, I'm i've got that mindset where i'm happy i'm happy if i can make a living from it where i yeah. can literally where i don't need to worry about anything else where if i'm gonna have another job it's literally because i just want to you know get out of the house or something like that fair fair, fair yeah fair. Or you just want pocket money yeah kind of like so you that, can still it? build it on the side yeah yeah, yeah you want to yeah, have yeah. that income there mm. so it's there yeah but at the same time like you're doing your thing um one side of it but you'd like to like possibly make this full-time if it was a possibility yeah yeah, yeah. i can't call you want to be in a nice financial position like you don't have to put the numbers behind it but yeah, like yeah. what i want you to think about now is how 
what's the first step in getting there? Because well, this is what I do in like in one of my strategy sessions I have with my co- with my clients mm. is that we plan like where we are right now, where is that we want to be, and it's cool. Like we we've got the blueprint. We know how we're getting from A to B. We need to make X number of beats. We need to reach out to X number of artists or whatever it is. Like, what's that first step for you? Mm. See, what have you been doing already? What are you doing already? Yeah. I mean, I've been making beats. Because you've been doing actions. It's not like you don't have any action points. Yeah, I've got action points, but it's, I think... Are you trying to get deeper? You get yeah, I'm trying to get yeah. deeper, really. I'm trying to get... Because like, those action yeah, points yeah. are good, but this is one thing I always tell everyone. Like, it's not tangible enough. It, mm. Well, nothing changes, nothing changes. If those yeah. actions aren't actually leading to you get closer to that goal, yeah. in terms of, let's say, financial freedom right now, mm. what needs to be done by the end of the month? Like, how many artists you need to reach out to? Is it a certain number? Is it... Do you know someone already and do you need to just push that straight away right now? Like, I... How are you using your time and energy? Are you spending more and more time creating beats when you could be using what you've got right now to get in some P coming through? Mm. And if that That's helps you then create like the next beat where it's new equipment you get in or you're working at a different studio or you're able to reach out to other artists, then it will just kind of like... Yeah, yeah. I think for me, it's... it's I mean, I've, I'm making the beats and that, but I just need to... I need to work on actually send, properly sending them out to people and that, and properly marketing it. Okay, so if words probably. Okay, so are you yeah. gonna do it? No, no, I, I said uh, properly. Right? Properly, probably. Yeah, right, yeah. So come, come, come. So if you're probably gonna do it, how many people are you gonna reach out to by the end of May? End of May. Okay, so now in your yeah, head, yeah. you're probably holding yourself back because you're like, okay, if I don't reach that number, I'm gonna be a distraught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yourself a tangible number. Yeah, that's yeah, a target. Number. It's a hundred people. Okay, hey, cool. A hundred people. Now break that down. We've got like four, five weeks in May. That's the, what 20, 25 people a week. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, calm, cool. That's like five a day. If you're not wow. working Saturday and Sunday, yeah, yeah, does that sound doable? Yeah, that's, uh, that's hey, doable. Yeah, mate. Now yeah, it mate. sounds like you've got a little bit of a plan to get done by by May. You never mm. know, mate. That P could be coming in the end of May. All a hundred people want to take your beats. Done deal. Literally, man. Jeez, mate. Listen, man. This, <laughs> this is some exclusive coaching for Michael P, man. <laughs> now, that's what you get because you can't get anything else. You got to pay for the rest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, on, but yeah, man. Like-